What's going on YouTube? Techlos back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, LaunchBox loading out of Kodi. Um, how to do that and we'll talk a little bit about how uh, you can get that done. So first I'll go ahead and launch Kodi here. Get this set up uh, started and I'll show you guys um, you know my, my setup, how I got it going on. So anyways, here is Cody set up, and as you can see, I got Spins TV loaded here. So all your basic um, paths, live sports, entertainment, and here, now here you have Big Box. And I kind of uh, cheated, I would guess, say, a little bit, and what I did was uh, when I did get Big Box loaded on Cody, I just went through and took out one of the, category that, one of the categories that Spins had here, and just put big box because um, it was just easier for me to do that. And I wanted it to be a main category anyways. I think I took out like cartoons here for kids, which is whatever for me. So you see I got the movies category, um, TV shows, free TV, premium TV, music program system. Okay. So we'll go over here to big box and we'll load it. So there's Big Box, and as you can see, I have uh, Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, NES, uh, Famicom, Game Boy, and TurboGrafx-16. I actually started over here because I actually have it running through Rocket Launcher now, which makes everything a lot easier for me. So I don't have all the systems loaded up for uh, LaunchBox yet, but we'll go ahead and go to 2600. Shows the games. Um, my video capture card will not capture the actual game load up, so when I do load it up, it, it will be loaded up on my screen. So let's say I want to play some Astro Blast, I'll click that, and then play it. It's going to transition uh, Loading into complete. the transition screen, and now I'm seeing the game started up. I know you guys aren't. I'll go ahead and escape out of that. And then uh, it goes back into uh, the launch box. Uh, the big box launch box. So it's actually really cool if you think about it. You're going from Cody to big box uh, launch box. Then you're going into rocket launcher, which is then la launching the emulator. And then uh, you're back stepping back out of uh, all those um, all those categories. So it's actually a very cool thing. So we'll go ahead and escape out of there. Escape out of there. And then exit and it's gonna go right back into Cody. So what is this useful for? This is useful if, especially if you have, well it's useful because it's cool as shit, but it's also cool because if you were to set up Cody on a mini PC or a box and you have it booting straight into Cody, you're never gonna to have to leave uh, to play your games. So you boot straight into Cody, play your big box uh, em, you know, emulator games, and then when you're exiting out, you're going straight back into Cody and you're able to uh, you know, move around and, and do whatever you need to do. So let's uh, go ahead and close this down. And I'll show you, I'll talk a little bit about how you, how you get this set up. So here's launch, the LaunchBox webpage. Um, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the author of this. His name is Jason Carr. And uh, he has uh, you know, some information about himself. And he kind of puts himself out there, which I, I put a little respect out there for him. On that note, um, you know, he says, uh, you know, some stuff going on here, but no, about what's going on in his life, you know, and I think that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, quick note, I don't want to get weird on you guys, but basically in a nutshell, what he's talking about here is that sometimes when you got stuff going on wrong in your life and you help other people, it makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Doing something for other people and, and this stuff makes people happy and, you know, it's just a cool thing. I like to share information with people too. Um, you know, he's making a profit off a of big box. Launch box is free. He makes a profit off a of big box, but people deserve to make profit off of what they're doing. So we'll go ahead and end that rant and we'll go into downloads. Um, it's funny when I do this stuff, let's see, download launch box now. I never even read any of this stuff. I never read anything on anything. I just kind of make it happen. Uh, but down here at the bottom, I don't know if you would even know this. But if you do scroll, I don't think it even says anything too much about it. But way down here where it says other downloads, you got Cody plugin for Big Box. So you click on this link and it's going to download a zip folder. So here's my zip folder, script Big Box launcher. So we're going to go, uh, I'm going to go actually the task manager real fast and make sure that it's closed. Let's go 
I'm gonna end that. Okay, so we're gonna relaunch Cody. So I'm gonna show you guys how this gets done. So when you get Cody launched up, you're basically gonna install uh, from the zip file that you have on your computer. So we're gonna go into system, we're gonna go to add-ons, and I'm not gonna actually do this, but install from zip, and then once you go here, you gotta go to where you have it installed. So I'm gonna go to C for me, and then for me it's gonna be users, and then Carlos, and then desktop. And that's where I have that script, as you guys saw. So there it is. So you're just going to install that. Click it, press OK. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wait for it to load. Once you do that, you're going to get a little box at the top left corner that's going to say Big Box Installed. So we'll go out of here and go into Programs, and then there will be Big Box. So then you're just going to right-click it. Uh, you're going to do Add-on Information, Configure, and it's really easy. You just set the path to Kodi, and then you set the path to Launch Box, Big Box Extension, the, the Big box exe. One thing that's really cool and another way to cheat using this, uh, this actual script sick because it just it basically it's not set to work only for big box. It just they made it for big box. But I actually um, put this link to Hyperspan and then I changed um, the name of where I set it up to Hyperspan and it'll actually launch Hyperspan too. But that's another story. I might do a video on doing that just because people will be looking for that. So once you got it set up, then it's where do you want to put it. Now, what I did was I went to Skin, and I went to Home Menu, and then I just scroll down here. Spins had everything set up as, you know, like how he does, so Home Menu. And Menu Item Number 4 was, I believe, I can't even remember. I just put it to Big Box, so I click, clicked on it, went to Programs, done. Oh crap, I just messed it up. Hold on. Excuse me. I went here and I did add on and then I found big box. Big box. And then this is where I was saying that you could name this hyperspin and do it hyperspin, but we're going to do big box. So, and then when I put big box, it took out all the sub menus. So now that we escape out of that and we go over here, it's now big box. You could do it under, under a, a minor category, like down here under something else, but to me, I just wanted it to be in its own category. Um, but I did have this named Hyperspin, and I used that uh, under big box. I changed it to Hyperspin, and I was launch, launching Hyperspin out of here. I thought it was pretty sick. So anyways, that's how I, I got Big Box uh, going with Cody. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.